So if you've been working with Git and GitHub for any length of time, then you've probably come across the fact that when you want to create a brand new repo, you often go to the website, you create the repo, and then you come back to the terminal, you download everything, and you can push and pull your repo and work with it from the terminal and work from it from your local computer. But you had to go to the, the GitHub website to start the whole process and create that initial repo. Well, if you've got curl and you want to use the GitHub API, we can actually do this part from the terminal as well. So this works Mac, Windows, whichever operating system you're on. Uh, all we need to have access to is the curl command, which if you're on Mac, it comes built right in. So I'm going to call the curl command and I'm going to make a call to the GitHub API. Now, I've got uh, the link here to the part of the documentation that we need. I will leave this link in the description for you. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing is a post request to this URL right here. We're going to be sending a post to slash user slash repos. And every one of these requests, they all begin with api.github.com. So we just put that part in front with user repos. We're making the request to here. And then we're going to send some JSON data. And the JSON data that we send is going to be whatever we want from this collection of um, key value pairs. Name is going to be required. So we have to actually include that one at a minimum, but then anything else that you want to add, you can. So this is the one required parameter, and this is the name of your repository that you're going to create. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a call to this URL, and we'll have name, and I'm also going to add in there private. I want to make my repo private when I create it. So we go to the terminal. We've got curl, and I'll just move this over so you can see here. This is the URL we want. So I'm going to do a curl, and I have to include my username because without that, it doesn't know the GitHub API doesn't know who you are. So you have to have a valid GitHub account to do this. We've got my username. If I could spell it, that would help. There we go, Professor Steve, and HTTPS API.github.com. This is the base URL. Then we're going to add in this part right here, user slash repos. So that's the endpoint that we're calling. Now, to make this a post as opposed to a get request, we just need to do slash D. We're going to, or dash D, we're going to add some data. And the data is going to be JSON. So I don't want to start my string with double quotes like that because I have to use those inside the JSON. We're going to use single quotes around it. And then inside there, that's where we put our object. This is the data that we're going to be passing in. We need to at least have that parameter called name. And like all JSON, it has to have the double quotes around it. And then your value is going to go inside of here. And what do we want to call the repo? Let's call it Saturday. There we go. That'll be the name of my repo. Then if you want any additional parameters, like I was saying private, so I will include that one as well. I'll say private and that is going to be true. Okay, so there's the whole command. Curl with your user. The endpoint is HTTPS API github.com slash user repos dash D for the data that's being passed in and that is a JSON object. There we go. We'll pass it in. It needs my password for this for the API to work. I could have included it here, but I don't want to send it as plain text. I want to actually do this. So I'm going to pass in my password. And there we go. There's the response. And we can see Saturday.git. This is the URL that we just created. So I now have a repo. I can now clone it locally if I want to do that. We can come over to my account and actually, I guess I should copy that. Come back over here, back into my account. And sure enough, there it is. There's the repo and it is private. This is the one that I just created. So we can work with this. We can clone it locally. So down in my terminal, if I wanted to in this current folder that I'm in, we can say git clone. And that is the repo that we want to clone. There we go. Yes, I have cloned an empty repository. That's fine. Um, and that's it. That's all you need to know. So the command that you want for all this is right here. It's just this curl command right at the very top.
All right, so I hope that helps you out. Uh, have fun not having to go to the website to do that initial step in creating your repos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.